we're back with another Blu-ray hunting video. So this week there are some sales. There are some new steel books that have come into play. Um, I've fallen behind being being broke. I have a little bit of money that I can spare. Oh, I might be sparing too much though. We'll see. Um, but I just wanted to hit up Best Buy to check these steel books out in person. See if I'm interested. It is not Tuesday. I'm a day late. It's Wednesday. Um, and then I'm going to go head over to Target because they are doing a buy two get one free deal on all movies, books, and music. So that's probably where I'm going to be picking up some of the ones I have fallen behind on. So we'll see what I end up walking out with. As of right now, it's looking like this might be a hefty haul, y'all too hefty. Um, and yes, I'm rocking this little hat because I just got my hair cut today. You can see a little bit of shave sides. It's not ready for presentation yet, y'all. I haven't judged it any. So, it'll stay here. But, let's go ahead, take a look at Best Buy, see what they got to offer. Yeah. Okay, so this is one that is into the consideration pool, y'all. So, if you've watched any of my Oscar coverage, you can notice uh, I liked Bohemian Rhapsody. I thought it was fun. I don't think it deserves a Best Picture nomination, but wow, I think this steelbook is absolutely stunning, actually. And I love that the discs look like vinyls. <sighs> So, I don't know, some people were complaining about this steelbook. I don't understand what there is to complain about because it really is one of the prettiest ones I think I've ever seen. There's that too, but no, not enough. <laughs> I have this steelbook over here. Oh, this, yeah, this is the steelbook. But, eh, it's not much different than the regular one, so I don't know. the other steelbooks I'm looking at y'all is the How to Train Your Dragon steelbooks because I absolutely adore these films I do have them in blu-ray already the blu-rays are not nearly as pretty as these uh, I just I don't know what to do I'm a little bit nervous they're actually gonna go on better sale though than that $20 um, they'll drop like this to where they're like $14.99 or something I don't know I don't know what to do. Also y'all, please go see this. Comes out on the 22nd. I want it to do well. I love it so much and I can't wait to watch it again. Watch my review, but more importantly, watch the film. What in the world? No, ma'am. All right, so you'll already know we're back at the house now. I've come back from the stores, come back from both Target and Best Buy, and I did pick up a few things. Starting off, I had to get this How to Train Your Dragon steelbook. I think it is absolutely beautiful this is like pretty top-notch animated film for me i love the entire series as i mentioned in the store including the third one that's coming out so i needed the steelbook i know they'll probably release the third one on steelbook as well so i just i needed to upgrade my collection and i thought this in particular was just such a gorgeous touching beautiful cover i love it 
And then, of course, naturally, also picked up How to Train Your Dragon 2 because... Duh, if I'm going to get the first one, I've got to get the second one. And I think this has some pretty beautiful, wonderful artwork as well. And yeah, I just, I really adore these films. And I already have tickets to go see the third one again on opening day. And then my last pickup was The Big Debate. I did end up buying Bohemian Rhapsody. So I really just think that the steelbook itself is dynamite, like, probably one of the best looking steelbooks in my collection. I even love this really simple understated back cover. It's just, it's gorgeous. I mean, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous steelbook. I wish it was embossed though. This is all just, you know, one flat level and it would have been cool to have that embossing in there, but I think it's beautiful. I really like that the Blu-ray and 4K are like albums. <laughs> I think that is so cool and a really nice touch. As I've mentioned in my review of the film and talking about it in my ranking, as an LGBTQ person myself, I had some problems with the way the community at large was depicted in this film um, and had some problems otherwise, including with Brian Singer himself. Um, so maybe that makes me a bit of a hypocrite for buying it, but I did still actually really enjoy watching the film um, and it was an enjoyable experience just as I said in the store not best picture nominee but a, a fun movie so a fun movie with this beautiful gorgeous steelbook and about Freddie Mercury one of my like icons of all time and I had to pick it up and that's it so I went through Target but that Target I went to is not really one I go to ever and as you can see in so many of my shots, this, the shelves were like barren. There was nothing. So they didn't have the movies I was like thinking of piecemealing together even. So I thought, you know what, I'll g take advantage of this deal. This will just give me a couple more days maybe to hope something pops up on the Cartwheel app. Meanwhile, on Amazon, one of the films I was looking to buy was like five something brand new blu-ray uh it wasn't from amazon so i had to pay like four bucks shipping but that's still like a ten dollar brand new blu-ray for a pretty brand new film so that will definitely be on next week's giveaway plus whatever i end up picking up at target because i'm almost 100 percent going to take advantage of this buy two get one free deal Otherwise, now we're going to call out for the winner of Halloween. It's been a few weeks. I know that I haven't done a proper Blu-ray hunt video. I think I did one since then. Um, so I thought I'd give it time. But I still have not received a response. So go back, watch my last Blu-ray hunting video. And if you are the winner for this Halloween code, make sure that you get back to me before next week's video and claim your code Otherwise, this will be back on the table for next week. Next week's already going to have codes for sure, and this one may also be up on the table if it's not claimed. So that's it. That is my Blu-ray hunting haul adventure, all of that fun jazz vlog for the week. If you want to get involved in the free digital code giveaway contest, here is what you have to do. First of all, you have to be subscribed to the channel. It is a subscriber giveaway. And also, make sure that your subscription, your profile page is public. Otherwise, I can't see that you're actually subscribed when I look through my list. And then, how am I to know to enter you into the contest? It becomes a sticky situation. So, make sure it's public and subscribe. Then, all you have to do is comment in the comment section down below with the title or titles you would like to be entered in for. And then boom, you're entered in next week's randomized drawing. Do you know, I always announce the winners on my next Blu-ray hunt video. So if you enter, make sure to check back the next week on that video. Otherwise, you're not going to know who won. Then you won't reach out and then the code will get put back up on for uh, someone else to win. Again, the titles up for grabs this week are Bohemian Rhapsody, How to Train Your Dragon, and How to Train Your Dragon 2. So, good luck. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this video and my return to Blu-ray hunting. If you did, 
hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel so you're always eligible to enter any of my contests here on the channel and you're always up to date on my movie related content. I love you all so much for your support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.